And this happens if you're on the desktop and don't pay any attention to whatever happens in your Minecraft world. <laughs> Salutations, my friends, and welcome back to Busterland, my vanilla Minecraft series. And I am, of course, your host, Buster. Um, I was on the desktop just checking the recording, if everything is recording properly, and then I heard BOOM! <laughs> and then this. Yes. Um... As I said, always paying attention to your my surroundings. Um, so, hello, my friends. Hello and welcome back. And um, I was I was preparing this, so I will do this right now. Uh, let me stack up, and we will see us in a second. Okay, there we are, back again. Um, way up high in the sky, uh, high above the lovely uh, Savannah farmhouse and all the stuff we built so far. Uh, and I wanted to show you what we built so far. Therefore, I'm up high in the sky. And because I want to change a few things about this today. Um, you can see here, this is the finished building for the pumpkin and melon farm. Um, these are just trees, as you can see, the cacti, um, the makeshift farm we ran so far and still running for uh, wheat and sugarcane. The um, animal pits for the different farming animals, the farmhouse, I said that already, my lovely new creeper hole. What do you think of that? Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Um, the... Um, Iron Golem farm and the mob elevator for the hostile mob farm and the adjacent storage system for that. Um, the potion brewing system and not much else. Oh, of course, a deep hole um, down to bedrock uh, where, the, where the slime farm is located. And that's it. Over there we have a few leftover villagers from that project. Uh, the entrance to the zombie farm with a stuck out tongue. And that's it. Um, I want to do... Yes, let me think about... Um, okay. Oh, you can see in the distance. Can you see it? Um, to the right. When I look directly at it, it disappears. It's, it's right over there. <clears throat> you can see some sort of uh, one block wide bridge. It goes out to oh, 600, 700 blocks that way, I guess. Around that. Um, that is where my uh, wife's located, where she built um, her little um, domicile. And... Um, this is just a project for the future. I will build a proper proper railway tunnel all the way to that. Uh, but today, I want to purdy up a little bit uh, what we have built so far. As you can see, there is no roof. There are no walls. Um, it's not really a proper building. The same with this one. It's just raw machinery with nothing around. And I want to change that. And I want to change um, how all comes together. Uh, I will try to build um here um paths and a little bit of garden area just to connect the buildings with each other and to purdy things a little bit up uh, i will focus on this side of the uh, main building today and later on we will focus on the backyard uh, but here also a few more buildings have to come uh, for example um uh, a silo in which we can farm sugarcane and maybe even um, carrots, potatoes, wheat, you get the gist. Uh, for now, let me let me break the pillar down because my intention was originally to get more nether quartz. And when I am uh, back to the bottom, uh, we will see again. By the way, <clears throat> I've, I changed this. Um, my um, The design was used by Asset Speedy uh, or New Area Door. 
Um, I may put the link in the description if I don't forget it. Um, <laughs> and he changed it um, so it's only um, one block with torch on top between the pistons. I tried this out in the original design and it didn't work. I have no clue why. Maybe it uh, depends on the version you try this in, uh, but it didn't work. I had to do it with the alternating block with redstone dust in between here and the torches here back. Uh, but now it actually works, so I changed it. Um, therefore, we have here now the... Uh, hello? Ah, no, no clue. <laughs> Ghost steps. Um, uh, I changed this now. You, we, we have here the, the, um, the glass panes. Instead of just the row outside with the um, clearly visible torches. I liked it a lot more, so thanks Speedy for that. Uh, and I finished the complete surroundings. I have no clue if I did that before. I guess not. I'm not sure. Uh, and here, okay, we can't see. Or, uh, it's it's um, pumpkins here and on the other half of the farm it's melons. So we can farm now melons and pumpkins. We have here a nice stock of pumpkins already. And over here... Melons. And here a crafting table, of course. We, we have to uh, put them together again, because we can only farm the melon slices without silk touch. And unless there are silk touch pistons, we have to do it that way. Or we have to do it manually, of course. Um, so, let's grab me a few building materials and then we will see what we can do. No, first let me let me do this. Ah, I will see you in a second. Okay, now we can see here, I always start with, okay, man, I have to stop that. But I have to start in any, oh, well, Forget it. Um, <laughs> so we have we have this building here, which is not actually a building; it's just a frame. Uh, we have this building over here, which is also actually not a building, just machines. Um, and we have to incorporate both um, together with this Savannah farmhouse uh, in some sort of lovely front yard uh, with uh, bushes and uh, walls and light. And so on. And uh, paths, of course. So, um, the path... The, what, what would that be? Paths? No. <laughs> English, boy. English. Um, first of all, I want to connect all of this with paths. Um, I would love to use the um, new path block that gets introduced in 1.9. If it is still in there, I have no clue if it really is, but at least it should be. It was um, it was teased by Jeff a long time ago now, uh, and it's really time for 1.9 to come out. So I really um, I'm really anxious about that. Can't wait to play around with it, and that is another reason. Um, why I am building today. My intention was originally to go um, explore a little bit, uh, find a water temple, um, water monument, I have no clue, one of these. You know, where the guardians are, where the new um, prismarine blocks are and the sea lanterns, which is exactly uh, why I want to find some of these. I want to have sea lanterns. I need them for this build here already, and we don't have any, which is a shame. Um, the path will, for now, just contain gravel. Uh, I tested a little bit in creative, and um, I found gravel the most fitting block, for now. Um, of course, we can do a lot of um, alternating stuff with gravel, dirt, um, whoopsie, little coffee burp, excuse me, um, with um, coarse dirt, even with mycelium. I tested it in a creative world with mycelium and it looks awesome. 
Um, I never built with a block and I uh, I really liked it a lot. And I was um, very astounding that it is the case. But the same as with the water temples, I um, haven't explored the world in a direction where I already found a mushroom island. Mushroom island, I have to say. I need more gravel. Um, so these are the things I would really love to do. I would love to um, play around with mob farms more. The, um, the, the gold farm isn't working right now. And I really want to change that. Um, the... What was I going to do? Yeah, here. Gravel. Um, the... The slime farm is working, but it's not optimal because you have to manually go on there and with a loot sword slaughter all the slimes. I have um, I have done a different build in a creative copy of this world, um, which turns out to work quite fine. But if it will still work with 9.9, nobody knows right now because they change a lot um, to the mobs because it is the combat update. Dinnerbone um, tweeted something about that. And um, because it is the combat update, this will probably mean... Uh, oh, Flint, thank you. Um, this will probably mean AI changes, I guess. And because of that, I don't want to fiddle around with mob AI uh, for farms and stuff right now. Because if the AI got changed and we put a lot of effort in some build like that, it will most probably um, not function with 1.9 and I want to avoid that. So now we have, oh, let me go on here further. Um, now we have a little road laid out. Um, I, wanna, I want to do this here different also. Um, this should be um, a spring, a giant well with a spring in the middle. Uh, with the water flowing down to the level where this ends. Um, uh, but I need to put it one block more over. You see here when I have a three wide, three wide road as we do right now, I am right here on the edge of this hole and this stinks. So I have to move it over one block, at least one block. Or to make it smaller, maybe. I have no clue which one I will do. But it has to go, it has to change, um, otherwise it will collide with the road. And this road um, will go all the way over to there, where I started this little um, bridge, over to the place where my wife built her little house, or cave more to say, because she built it in a hillside. We will go check that out someday in the future. Um, these are only the the markers for the, the chunk in which the slime spawn. I don't need it anymore, so it can go. But this has to go over. Um, the well doesn't need to be exactly above the slime farm. There's no need for that. Um, the hole doesn't need to be there in any any ways. So it's just um, it's just a hole, nothing more. We don't need it for the function of the slime farm. Um, so we can do whatever we want with it. And I will move it at least one block over. And then I will dig another hole on this side. So we have a similar well like this over here. Uh, but I won't dig it as deep because there's absolutely no need for that. I will just dig it, um, a well and and live with that. Um, so we have the direct line here, over there is the bridge to the building of my wife. We have now here the pathways laid out. Um, yes, and now we can try to incorporate this, uh, purdy it up a little bit. I was thinking about um, walls, like this, cobblestone walls, um, for um, the color palette. I like this the most. I tried out different fences. I tried out even um, iron bars, which I absolutely don't like at all. I tried um, 
Wood fences, I tried nether brick fences, but I don't like any of that. So I tried um, cobblestone walls. Uh, I usually don't build with it in all my, my uh, builds so far. Um, I'm playing Minecraft for close to three years now and more or less never built with cobblestone fences. And um, I have no clue why that is. <laughs> and therefore I decided give it a shot and try it. So we have then here the, the paths and we have the, um, the cobblestone fences on the inside. Uh, there will be entrances, I guess, from time to time. So this is just a closed area for now, but there will be um, entrances and um, a little bit like a, um, a garden maze. Not real maze, of course. It's far too small to be an actual maze. But so you can, you can go, let's see, maybe inside here. Then do you have um, walls go this way around. Then we have bushes and um, flowers inside here. Then maybe we can go through here and here again, like this. And then we have the entrance to the building on this side. Similar um, this side as well. We could have here an entrance here and more fences here. And then the same on this side here, entrance here and here. So it's not completely closed in area. You can go um, different ways through it and um, like a little recreational park garden thingy. Um, with bushes here on the inside of the of the fences of the walls of the cobblestone walls unfortunately I don't have um, any any bushes left so any leaves um, I want to go with um, jungle leaves unfortunately for the leaves we are in the savanna biome that means um, the leaves are all uh, brown like this and my phone's ringing. I'll be back in a second. So you better pick your phone up when your wife's ringing. <laughs> yeah, my wife. She wanted to know something about uh, our car. We had a little accident. Well, not really an accident. Um, the, um, the car was parked and some guy, um, well, basically couldn't drive and he crashed into it. It's not really bad, but the left front uh, fender is um, really, really scratched now. And uh, therefore she she called and asked for a date at the local, whatever it's called, um, garage to fix it. Uh, back to this now. We have here now roughly laid out how you want to do with it. And I, uh, I now want to build some sort of wall and roof. And yes, I hate roofs. Um, but I tried something out again. <laughs> I fiddled, I fiddled with this now for a really long time, and for an even longer time with this build. Um, and I had really no clue how to incorporate the machine in a building, um, in a building that is not a giant cube. <laughs> Um, to to make it somehow look interesting and and neat, yes. Um, so I tried. Th what was this? <laughs> you see, <laughs> it's a floating torch. Now give me a flute, <laughs> like a snake out of a basket. Give me that. Um, yes. So I need roofs for that and that and walls at least for this building i tried something which is just stilts and a roof and i really like it a lot i will build it um in a second and i am really curious about how you like it or if you like it at all um i will go here with uh lamp posts on this side, on this, on here, on this side. And here, um, again, um, I want to do this with sea lanterns because it uh, it is far, by far the best choice. 
I tried um, normal glowstone, I tried just redstone lamps, but um, it is by far the best with sea lanterns. Also for this build over there, inside there, for nearly everything I'm building here right now, except this one, which already has um, redstone lamps. Here it is okay to build with redstone lamps furthermore, uh, but on the other buildings it is really, really, yeah, well, mandatory to build with sea lanterns because everything else looks like crap. Um, for now all the torches are here and they will stay a little while longer because I don't have a monument. Ocean monument, sea monument, whatever it's called, ocean temple, I have no clue. Um, oh, hello creeper. I saw you. Let's play hide and seek. Boom. Oh. <laughs> excellent aiming, excellent aiming. There you go. Burn, baby, burn. Uh, I'm rumbling about and just talking and talking and talking and not doing much. Um, so let me turn it today. Quip, quip. What do I want to say? <laughs> Grab. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> that must be the virus in my system. Um, I had, or I'm suffering right now from a uh, virus infection. I got somehow um, either in the Caribbean where I spend a lovely holiday with my wife for her 30th birthday or on the flight back from it. I have no idea and therefore I'm a little bit ill and may be, uh, that may be result in strange behavior, obviously. Um, so let me grab a few materials, then I will start the build on the buildings. Um, you can't see me right now, but I'm <laughs> gesturing <laughs> wildly right now. Uh, I'm doing that while I'm talking. Fortunately, you can't see me. Um, I will grab a few materials, start building on the buildings, and when I did a little bit of progress, I will be back with you. This is what I've got so far. <laughs> did you recognize? I haven't started with... Okay. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Um, <laughs> back to topic. So, <clears throat> I continued... Oh, by the way... Uh, I looked at the recording so far. It, the episode is already far too long. I always rumble about and won't find an end. Therefore, less content, <laughs> more talking. Um, this has to take place in the next episode, same as the interior of the garden. But I am done with the roof. And I must say I'm quite proud because I fiddled so long now with an idea how to incorporate some sort of building or roof or whatsoever with this building. And uh, finally I decided to go um, just the way these arches are here, um, just to follow this line and stretch it out as a roof. And then simply mimic uh, the same arch here on the front as I did here on the back and voila! ready is the roof. Um, I am not quite sure what to do with walls. The current decision is to do nothing with walls. Um, as mentioned earlier, I was in the Caribbean with my, with my lovely wife to celebrate her 30th birthday. And um, the, the hotel um, resort thing we uh, lived in for that time had all these um, these buildings with just stilt and roof. No walls whatsoever, because it is hot all the time. Um, and because we are living here on a savanna plateau, uh, where it is also hot all the time, um, I decide, at least for now, to left out the walls. At least here in the front, um, in the front area of the building. Here, um, at the side, there have there are still to, to come the um, the item elevator and the item sorting system for the ingredients. And on this other side, there has to be the item elevator 
for the uh, bottle feeder there on the top. But maybe I will do this here instead of here and we'll leave this open as well. But then, um, of course, there has to be a building um, stretched out here. But I guess I will go with the same, the same design just on this side uh, with walls so you don't see the nasty machinery around here. Um, so guys, this will be it for this episode. I hope you liked it already. Um, if so, please feel free to leave a like. That will help me out enormously. And um, if you really loved it, feel free to subscribe. I love having new subscribers. My subscriber level always go um, up and down because I don't um, release uh, that uh, regularly basis videos. So I have... Um, one day 31 subscribers, next day 28, next day 30, <laughs> next day 29. Um, it's all the way, it's, it's always up and down like crazy. Last time I checked, we were at um, 31 and the pumpkins episode, um, which is the, the key episode for all the subscribers, up and downs and all the views, uh, are over 50 views, which is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Besides the pumpkin tutorial itself, it is the video, uh, the Minecraft video with the most views on my channel. Love you to death for it. Continue doing this. Um, I will keep on bringing off videos to you. And because I have uh, so much stuff left to do here, um, which doesn't really have that much uh, preparation to do, I have to go... Uh, farm a few leaves and stuff but not really critical things um, so there will be definitely another video out um, this week where we will try to finish it uh, I'm pretty sure we won't <laughs> so there will be maybe uh, even a third video but we have um, a, a holiday on a Thursday so maybe it won't but definitely a second one I will go to record right after these maybe tomorrow morning because i have still work to do and i'm still rumbling about um again so with the view of the of this lovely roof where i'm really uh, really satisfied with uh, i will leave you in this episode and i will see you in the next one take care of yourselves bye bye <laughs>